Hey everybody, No Gas Nico here. Part two, I want to talk about uh, Leaf Spy with the Nissan Leafs and how I was able to determine I'm having a problem. Uh, besides the fact that the state of health, the not state of health, but the state of charge was continually dropping like like a rock, go from like 60% to 20% within like 20 miles. Uh, that and the massive regen that you would get you know, gaining 9% battery just getting off the expressway on a regen. So those are were the first indicators that, hey, you know what? I got a problem. There's something going on here. Uh, second indicator, I ran Leaf Spy when I did that little test, did that little run. And here, I'm going to play it here so you can see uh, this screen particularly has the individual cell voltages. Now, it's not completely correct. Because this says 1 to 92 cells, and there's actually 96 cells in a 62 kilowatt hour pack. Uh, I did get a printout from all the cells from the dealership. And uh, part three, I'm going to go over that, what they what they found, what they said, and what my next course of action is. So here, if you can see Leaf Spy, uh, should I right here, if you notice these cells... They're much lower than the rest of them. Now, we're not talking much lower. We're talking just maybe tenths of a volt. But when you're talking about a 3.9, 3.8 volts, tenths of a volt is pretty significant. Um, these, All these cells need to balance in order for the car to be in good health, for the battery to be in good health. If they're not in balance and they're out of whack from each other, you're going to have issues. It's going to have issues on calculating the state of charge, uh, calculating your range, how far you got to go. Uh, I've had the 2017 where we've driven that car for another 15 miles when the battery said it was zero. Shouldn't be able to do that. So this is what happens. It basically, it's reading the lowest cells and calculating how far you could drive based on the worst case scenario. When your pack is perfectly balanced and uh, all the cells are degrading evenly, uh, worst case scenario cell taking that calculation is not going to be that far off of the rest of them. So that's what I got going on. That's uh, for those of you that have Leaf Spy and know uh, what these indicate. Uh, having a 200 plus millivolt difference in my pack balance. Uh, that's from the highest to the lowest. There's over 200 millivolts or 0 0.2 volts difference between the cells. That's quite a bit. I shouldn't see more than 50 millivolts under rapid acceleration. If I'm just driving normal, it should be around 30 millivolts difference. Uh, now, just going up a hill with the cruise control on, getting over 200, not good. So that's where we're at. Stay tuned for part three. I'm going to discuss what my uh, recent trip to the dealership, the results of that, and the results of their battery test. And uh, then we're going to talk about my next steps. All right. Thanks for watching, and God